Every so often it's good to take a piece of green screen footage, place it like a cardboard cutout in the 3D scene, and do some of those nice smooth CG camera moves we all know and presumably love. Normally I have to pre-render out a pung sequence with a green replaced with transparency, but, well, it's a bit faffy, it's an extra render that you don't need and it fills up your card drive with a load of pungs. Wouldn't it be better if we could do all the green screening with a material light? Introducing Material Green Screen. This works on both Blender 2.79 and 2.8, but it's Eevee where it really comes into its own, where rendering a frame is about as fast as comping up to green screen. So if you're using Eevee, you want to set this to Alpha Blend. The image, or more likely the video, goes into this, where you can eyedropper the green screen colour from the image and set the tolerance for hue, saturation and value. Hue will probably have the lowest tolerance, shadows on your green screen will have a different value, but not a different hue. In addition to this, we have a fall off for hue, saturation and value. This controls the size of the semi-transparent area that can be used around the hair and for motion blurs. This node group outputs a grayscale image with white for opaque and black for transparent. And we push this into a mix node between transparent and emit. Or we can use diffuse instead of emit. And all is well except that the green of the screen is shining onto the guy in front of it. For this we have another node group that reduces the green glare. It has rather fewer controls than the last node group and outputs the image again with the green shine toned down. But this has an extra output, a grayscale map of which areas are affected by the degreening. You could use this to mix between diffuse and translucent, or, well, I thought it might be useful for something. And the final thing to bring your attention to is that these node trees work fine with screens of blue and green, but if you choose to stand in front of a red screen, say, because you are a peacock, this colour has a hue of zero, and this colour has a hue of one, for this reason, you obscure avian edge cases get your own versions of these two nodes. If the screen you're standing in front of is slowly phasing around the rainbow, then that's one hell of an edge case you've got there. How and why are you doing that?